The Rolex GMT was first released in 1954, and this release was a collaboration between Rolex and Pan American Airways. The GMT, as we all know, is a dual time zone model, and the reason this was made is so pilots with Pan American Airways could track the home time and the away time while they're on their flights, simply by just looking at the wrist. And it was a very innovative complication at the time, which is why the GMT was so loved and revered even until this day. And luckily, here at Trilogy, we've got a large stock of all the hot watches, so I've got pretty much all of the current production of GMTs available today, as well as a couple of discontinued ones, just so I can talk you guys through the GMTs. So let's start with the first one. Here we have the Rolex GMT2 16710, released in 1989. Out of all of these, it's the one that's most similar to the original GMTs of the 50s. Really nice watch, it's obviously the Pepsi configuration. A lot of people actually still request this one to this day, even though we have the modern ones, because they like the aluminium bezel. Another reason that these aluminium bezel GMTs are loved is because of the way that the aluminium bezel can patina. As you can see on the bezel, the red here has started to fade and it goes to a sort of a lacquer, a pale pinky color. Over the years, if you get a patina one, it won't look exactly the same as another one, which is why these are so loved and so revered. Following on from there, we have the release of the first ever ceramic GMT. This GMT was released in 2008 and it was the first to feature the polished center links bracelet and the brushed center links as well as obviously the ceramic bezel. Just like all GMTs this has four hands and the unique thing with this one is that the GMT hand on this one is a green hand which a lot of people know and love and the GMT hand has now returned on the 2024 Bruce Wayne. Next up we had a hotly anticipated release in 2018. 2018 was a massive year for GMTs actually. The one that stuck out for most people was this. This is the Rolex GMT Master 2 Pepsi reference 126710 BLRO and this is the first time the Pepsi was available again since the discontinuation of this one, the 116710. And obviously now on the ceramic bezel with the Jubilee bracelet, it was released in 2018. 2018 was the year of the GMT. It wasn't just the Pepsi that was released. We saw the root beer. Here we have the full rose. This is the 126715 CHNR, but you can also get the Steelham rose, which is the 126711 CHNR. You can see up on screen. Really, really incredible watch. I actually used to have the Steelham rose root beer. Is one of my first watches. I absolutely loved it. We also saw this. While this may look similar to the Pepsi I just showed you, I can assure you it's markedly different. This is the reference 126719 BLRO. 719 indicates white gold. This is the Pepsi in white gold. You can tell from the sheer weight of it, as well as if you look up close, this has a blue dial and the stainless steel Pepsis have a black dial. I'm a big fan of this one and they also offer it in the incredible meteorite dial, which you can see up on the screen. The thing with the meteorite dial that I absolutely love is that it's a cut from a naturally occurring element. It's part of the Gibby meteorite every meteorite dial that you see will naturally be completely different so in a way if you buy a meteorite dial pepsi it is sort of a piece unique and i love that fact moving on from there the gmt has been getting a lot of love in recent years and in 2019 we saw the release of this this is the rolex gmt master 2 batgirl reference 126710 blnr the reason this is called the batgirl is because in 2013 we saw the release of the batman which is the same as this but on oyster bracelet and then that was discontinued and we saw the batgirl released in 2019 so if you see a blue and black bezel you know it's a batman or a batgirl depending upon the bracelet moving on to the sprite you may have noticed that this watch looks markedly different to the rest of the watches we have on display here do you see it the sprite is the first watch that rolex have released to be a left-hander which means the crown and the date window are on this side made for left-handed people all the other watches are the classic just like the one i've got on here with the crown there and the date there however the sprite released in 2022 was released as the left-hander and it was also the first gmt to feature the green and black colorways i for one think it's pretty cool it's a bit different sometimes they even pick it up upside down I've done that a few times in editing this video, but who's to know? Again, as I said, in the last few years, the GMT has been getting a lot of love, and we see that here. This is the 2020 free release. This is the Rolex GMT2, reference 126713 GRNR, grey noir. There's obviously for the bezel colors, grey and black, and the people have started to call this the zombie, which I don't really get the name, but this is the zombie. Available on the Jubilee bracelet, which is the first time the Jubilee bracelet is available in a steel and gold on a GMT with a solid bracelet, which I really like. It's also available in the full yellow gold, which I absolutely absolutely love. I'm a big fan of that one. Really, really nice watch. Speaking of grey and black bezels and how fantastic they look, Rolex obviously seem to agree with the 2024 release. Here we have the Rolex GMT Master 2 reference 126710 GRNR or the Bruce Wayne. So the grey and black bezel again, but on a full stainless steel case with the Jubilee or Oyster bracelets as you can configure the GMTs now. For some reason, this name is stuck, but for me, it doesn't really make sense because grey and black is darker. That'd make more sense for that to be Batman. For some reason, these days six. I've got no idea. Forgetting the ridiculous 
ridiculous nicknames. I think this is a really cool watch, really nice for every day. I do really like it. And as I mentioned earlier, we see the return of the green GMT hand that we saw on the original GMT. In the current market, what we're seeing, I don't know if you guys have noticed the trend here. Most of the watches that I've got here are in the Jubilee bracelet, and that is for good reason. The Jubilee bracelet is so much more popular in today's market than the Oyster. A few years ago, actually the Oyster was more popular, but we're seeing today the Jubilee is more popular. It makes about a thousand pounds, maybe slightly more price difference. That's both on the GMT range and the date just 41 range or even 36. Everyone wants the Jubilee. But literally a few years ago, the Jubilee was like, it's funny how the trends change. Let's talk prices. Rolex 16710 Pepsi is discontinued, but available at Trilogy 10450. Rolex 116710 LN discontinued, but available today 10850. Rolex GMT Pepsi retails at 9550 on the market at Trilogy 16950. If we talk about the full gold pieces, especially with the price increases, we have the Rolex GMT Master 2 root beer in the full rows, retails at 37 grand. I can sell one at 28,000 pounds. That's nearly 10,000 pounds left. How about this one? Rolex GMT Pepsi in the white gold with the blue dial also retails at 37,000 pounds. But you can have one today for 27,000 pounds, so 10,000 pounds on the list. Moving on from there, we have the back gelt, retails at 9,550, market price 14,250 for a brand new one that we have here. Moving on from there, we have the Sprite, it's 10,000 pounds retail, sells on the market for 15,950. The GMT Zombie retails 15,050 pounds, it's worth around 16,000 on the market. And finally, the Bruce Wayne. As I said, this is a brand new, three days old model, also retails at 9,550, and this is on the market at 16,650 for a brand new fee. That was a recap of the 70 year history of the GMTs and all the current models that are in production. There's so many to choose from, it's really hard to decide. But for me, I've been really loving the Pepsi of late, so this would be the one that I would choose. But I'd love to know which one you guys would choose. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Trilogy. And if you like this and want to see more watch reviews and more watch content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.